From the Miami Valley, some business groups are partnering to help boost struggling businesses. Today, the Dayton Area Chamber of Commerce and Downtown Dayton Partnership announced the Reopen Downtown Dayton Grants. Two News reporter Deborah Bogart explains how it will help as she continues our team coverage. The owner of the Brightside Music and Event Venue says they're going to have to get creative in order to open their doors during this time of limited social gathering. But if awarded one of these grants, they say it will go a long way to help in that endeavor. Birthday parties, corporate functions, graduations that have either been canceled, rescheduled, or we're really working to try to come up with creative ways to still be able to host those events in some fashion. The Brightside hosted their last event March 10th. The owner, Carly Dixon, says she was thrilled to apply for the reopen downtown Dayton grant today. We all have a lot of experience at this point with applications, and I would say this is the one that's the most fluid and simple and straightforward. The grants will range from two to $10,000, and Dixon says even the smallest amount could help tremendously. None of us have built businesses that assume $200 touchless hand sanitizer dispensers times one, two, however many doors you have, uh, $40 per gallon of hand sanitizer, extra cleaning before and after each event. The CareSource Foundation kick-started the program with a $500,000 donation. Then the downtown Dayton partnership chipped in 200000 this morning, Two News Today anchors spoke to Chris Kirshner from the Dayton Area Chamber of Commerce. He says the approvals will be quick to get those funds in business owners' hands within a few weeks. They may have lend, lend, loans coming in, they could have federal assistance coming in, but they need a little bit of gap funding to help get them through to when that those other funds come in. And that's exactly what the Reopen Dayton uh, Downtown Grant is here to do.